everybody welcome back to my channel it's eva from bohemian crafting and today i would like to share with you uh, what i have purchased from uh, usa amazon i received it yesterday i <laughs> last week i had my 50s and uh, my sons gave me so many gifts and also money to spend so i spent them on file folders and because here in uk they don't have uh, that huge amount of types and uh, colors and, <laughs> and um, all kind of yeah types uh, of file folders. I open it USA Amazon because I know that there is plenty. There is so many styles, colors, um, decorative elements, and uh, you know sizes and shapes of different file folders and this is what i have ordered these are actually a uh, clock cards and they are awesome i found um the, what is here in this box i found also on uk amazon i will put links down below go to have a look on prices you will be surprised <laughs> how much it costs to receive same file folders straight away from america or if I will buy it, buy it from UK Amazon. How huge difference it is. And how good job I did that I did order from USA. So these are wonderful clock cards. Really beautiful. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Upside down. And uh, honestly, I <laughs> have to tell you, I was like small child. I was so excited when this came. My son was laughing that I do have another Christmas, you know, <laughs> with all these. Look how cute they are. And they are so amazing. The material is awesome. It's just exactly what I would love to have in my journals. So I bought these. Then this one, I never saw something like this before. So obviously I had to try. Uh, I think I did open it somewhere. Well, I'm going to rip it here. So these are kind of like job, job pouches, job location, job name, look at that, job number, job cost summary, job folder, that, that's, the, that's the name of that. And I really love the size, I'm going to move my camera a little bit. So I do love the size of this and it's, you know, it's like really huge pouch. So I can uh, split it on two, I can resize it. So it's plenty of material. Again, it's beautiful Manila. Uh, I do love that print. So I did order these. Uh, I think I saw something similar here in UK, which is printed in USA actually. And again, the difference in the prices is <laughs> like, wow. Go to have a look. Uh, if if I will find the link for UK Amazon on these pouches, I will put them put it down below. Oh, this this is doesn't belong here. I just sign it uh, on uh, its program for overweight people. <laughs> I'm still not smoking. Uh, just a little up update. I'm still not smoking, and I don't have any urge to smoke. Unfortunately, somehow it did happen to me that I kind of like uh, accidentally swap cigarettes for food. I do love food. And I start to eat like two big portions or too much. So I gain, uh, I gain a lot of weight. And now I'm trying to fight with that weight. Uh, they also found that I do have those fatty livers. And um, I, I, I'm... You know, I don't want to die early than I have to. So I have to do something with my weight. I do have now uh, high blood pressure. I do have those fatty livers and all kind of other stuff because I do have overweight. I am overweight. So I signed it for that program. And this is what they gave us. It's quite amazing, to be honest. I had first session Wednesday and they gave us this one. And the nurse who was there with us, she explained everything kind of like really understandable way. I think this is supposed to be at school. We supposed to have, well, we didn't, but I think this is supposed to be ha at school. They, they should teach uh, children everything about food and also everything about money. I think those things are never at school and uh, that's a huge issue everywhere in the world, I guess. 
And this is third thing I uh, I ordered from USA. Look at these. I never saw file folders like this. They are awesome. Look at that blue. Uh, I'm gonna now be working on uh, on a pro project with my Patreons with the brown and blue uh, color combination. We already started to do just a little, you know, just little inserts just because, you know, I've been waiting on these. So we started to do little inserts just in that color combination, like a little starter. And these will be uh, going with, with all kind of like bluish, brownish color combination. That's why I did order those. And look at that. The material is amazing. It's quite thick, this one. I love it. And look at this. Oh, I really like that um, that mechanism here. I believe I can take it off if I will want so. Uh, obviously, I will try to take it off if I can. <laughs> look at that. These are amazing. And this is just folded around. Oh, that's clever. That's quite awesome. It's folded around, so I do have one hinge here, another hinge on that opposite side. Good. I'm gonna kind of like, you know, uh, I'm gonna study for one day my little new file folders and things and plan in my head. And then we will work with my Patreons on some new projects, some new uh, kind of like family, family uh, heirloom journal. But for today, I was thinking I should use something. Um, and I was thinking this job folder because <laughs> I never saw something like this. And I do love that print. So I was thinking, why not? We're going to use this and we will try to create something. I do have here this uh, job folder, job pouch. And I think I'm going to split it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to create a little uh, mini journal, mini folder. So first I'm going to split it right here where there are two lines. So I'm going to grab my scissors and just cut it between those two lines because that makes this bottom seven and a half inches, which is nice size. It's perfect size for journals. So I do have this, and I do have this, uh, because here it's kind of nice uh, separation, so I'm gonna grab my scoring board, so this line is on 4 and 1 8, I'm gonna score here um, 8 and 1 quarter, eight and one quarter and also i should score here those four and one eight so here this line four and one eight eight and one quarter and uh, i'm gonna first fold my score lines just to you know to make it more visible and more understandable for me now I do have still pocket which I would like to kind of like separate and I would like to create little little book out of this. Mm -hmm. So this I would like to have at the front like front cover. In that case I need to separate it here. So I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut it here and here on the bottom so this will become a page here and i will have a little pocket here so here open it in this side and this side so here at the front i will have pocket with the page and here at the back i will actually have another pocket
and I do have a little base for a little booklet opening uh, spaces for writing here, 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 and I will have one pocket here, one pocket here. I would like to have the uh, window right here and probably window right here to make sure I can see its pocket. Hmm, how I will get it? You do have here my cutting board. So I'm gonna be, or cutting mat, I'm gonna be using that. And I'm gonna use my ruler as my measurement. First, very easy way, I'm gonna draw frame. And now I'm going to slide my cutting mat into that file folder and using ruler and knife I'm going to cut off the windows. You do have cut at windows. And I'm going to grab a collection of my stamps. I do have here all kinds of stamps. Oh. Uh, Teresa Collins, this is very old one, Spellberries, uh, this is one of my favorite lately, this is uh, Sentimentally Yours, uh, from Phil Martin, Splatterlicious text Textures, unfortunately, uh, what I try to have a look, they are uh, sold from everywhere, try to have a look, this is the name. Uh, I'm gonna type also name down below, so you can you can try to find it yourself. But really, uh, I try to have a look f on the links which I had before, and also <laughs> so uh, may maybe someone will have it uh, on craft room clearance. I'm not sure, but I love these stamps. They do add beautiful texture to your projects. I do have uh, here. Yeah, Teresa Collins, Tim Holtz, all kind of stuff. Uh, Spellbinders, Viva Decor, uh, Teresa Collins, yeah, mo mostly Teresa Collins here. And what is this one? Studio Light. Some, uh, some mix of stamps which I'm going to be using and I'm going to do all kind of stamping here uh, because it's slow work. I'm going to put some nice music in the background i'm gonna speed up a little bit this process and then i will come back Do have my grungy stamping done from both sides. Um, here I would like to create closure, so I'm gonna punch there a notch. I think somewhere here. So at that point I can put some nice closure, so this could be closed. For this dressing I'm going to be using today uh, Seal Brown from Spectrum Noir. For stamping I did show, I did use this one. It's a rustic brown from Spectrum Noir. Fine C line. So, it looks distressed really nicely. Look at that. I love how it's taken that vintage look. 
Uh, I'm gonna add acetate sheets in my windows. I do have prepared my little acetate sheets with double-sided tape here. And I can either place them right on the top, right here, and then maybe use some decoration over it, you know, some washi tape, or I can slide it under and place it from here, from inside. So one here and another one here. And this one I'm going to place on the top. And to keep it in a vintage style, I'm going to be using alcohol ink. I'm going to be using this uh, brownie alcohol ink from Octopus. And I'm going to add a little bit on my acetate pieces. I have fixed here this uh, arrow, it's already dry and I can move it all around. Uh, I do have here these two sheets, you can download them, link will be down below, they are for free if you are interested. Uh, I'm working now with blue line, kind of blue aqua teal uh, colors and this is uh, from it's kind of like uh, working with that collection i'm working right now with my patreon so i was thinking i'm gonna use it because then i can use this one in the journal i'm gonna prepare with my or create with my patreon so uh, i'm gonna use some of these papers and put the background inside and uh, also use some of these papers to create extra pages in this little cutie little folder my printer is printing with the white uh, frame around, so I'm going to cut, cut off that white frame. And there, there are three kind of like um, strips, papers on each page. So three here, and there here on the bottom are labels you can use through to your creation. And again, three strips, 
I'm gonna cut between them here and here and again on the bottom I do have those little labels so I do have all labels cut it and also all these strips oh, this way so now I can choose one which I will place here and maybe I can place one here so I do have one paper here another paper here I did cut off the extra and I also distress it with uh, same ink which I used for stamping uh, before I will add sewing into my frame here and that frame here to create it as a pocket I think I'm gonna add here also well, probably all of these papers I guess I can actually use them all put them together and now I can use my sewing machine I can sew these papers here on the top so they will be like little notepad and I do have my a little sewing done here on the bottom and on the side so this is closed now and I do have pocket from the top I used zigzag stitching here to sew these papers and I did use straight stitching here and on the bottom and again I do have top loaded pocket from here now I do have last these papers and I think I can use them okay I'm gonna cut it here uh, here I'm gonna use this strip of paper and create a pocket and this top I'm gonna fold I would say about half inch behind my mark so for creating tap I'm gonna be using my uh, envelope punch envelope paper punch and I'm gonna punch those sides if you do have decorative scissors you can do this with decorative scissors or maybe uh, maybe you do have paper punch like this which cuts uh, corners in the shape of tuck so if you will use it you will cut the corners in this shape like this so that will be there and here this I can have like a slight uh, slight spot and also there is space for writing so first I added a little bit of distressing from both sides here so I'm gonna be using this one as a pocket so this will be glued here and I can do some stamping around I also used uh, sides from this strip and I did little stamping so I can use it anywhere I want and I do have these little labels from those blue papers so I can use them through to the journal as well so first some stamping here on the bottom uh, on the top <laughs> and I'm gonna also use this grungy stamp and kind of make the sides grungy
so I have added uh, some stamping to the front and I think I'm gonna keep it this way I do have stamping here on that tab uh, I need to put some, <laughs> some images into those pockets I don't have anything in pockets yet so I'm gonna have a look uh, to have actually something in those pockets and I will come back and this is my little job folder <laughs> when I do have inside few things I can put this either here into this pocket or I can slide it behind this and it's holding on both sides so there is pocket here and this can be lift up and this can be used as a writing spot I do have nice large pocket here and this can be used for pictures who knows maybe for some nice photo I need to put uh, some tacks or some decorations into those eyelets uh, so there I do have writing page I do have little writing page here as well and I do have this little um, insert this is picture from my birthday birthday card from Czechia so I just use that because I really love that, that picture and we can close this like that and here I do have a little notepad with a few papers another writing spot and another pocket here and another writing spot I really love the, the this um, pocket job what is the right name oh yeah job folder job folder guys and next time I need to use this and somehow decorate it alter it so <laughs> this is my shopping in Amazon uh, America Amazon and this is what I have created using one of these large pockets I really like these pockets they are made from beautiful manila and go to have a look on prices go to check out the prices when you are shopping on UK Amazon same product and when you are using or when you are shopping on USA Amazon if you are living in UK I mean you will see the uh, the difference in final final price it was much more cheaper from uh, USA to get it here than if I will buy same product here in UK. That was very interesting, actually. So, <clears throat> I'm very happy with, <laughs> with my purchase, even it was quite expensive. But, you know, uh, I'm not uh, buying these things like very often, once in a few years, actually. So... <laughs> I'm okay with that it was for my birthday gift kind of like my own gift for my birthday so I'm very happy with what I bought thank you so much for spending your time with me and craft with me I hope you did enjoy it and I hope uh, you will find uh, in your stuff some similar or maybe you will go to buy these go to have a look uh, and you will craft with me enjoy your craft enjoy your day thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day and I will come back soon bye